Attention, Massachusetts. Hi, I'm Vermin Supreme. I'm running for Senate. A new candidate's throwing his hat into the Massachusetts Senate primary, and that hat is shaped like a boot. We talked to Vermin Supreme, best known as the crazy guy with a boot on his head who always makes waves in New Hampshire during election season, about his last minute decision to run for Senate in Massachusetts and whether he's really getting serious about running. I'm the only candidate who has released their dental records. Uh, none of my other uh, can, can, uh, opponents have released their dental records. Are they soft on plaque? I believe that they may be. If you don't know about Vermin Supreme, he's been a satirical presidential candidate since 1992 and has a following of fans who love to see him clown on politicians. I mean, he's the only one offering everyone in the country a free pony. <laughs> because a pony for every American would indeed solve a whole lot of trouble. We're talking post-fossil fuel. And yes, Vermin Supreme is his real name. Often it's hard to tell whether he's in character or when he's being serious, but his perpetual goofiness has given him a platform in politics that few people have. I mean, the boot is magic. I mean, it has allowed me to uh, amplify my free speech voice exponentially. It has allowed me to communicate with millions of people. It has allowed me to interact with media from across uh, the flat earth. This year, he actually got serious and ran for president as a libertarian. He lost that primary, but he said Monday he's running as a write-in candidate in the Massachusetts Senate primary between Ed Markey and Joe Kennedy after learning that people were writing in his name anyway. As I was seeking the Libertarian Party nomination, I was indeed a real, it was a serious campaign. Once I did not achieve that nomination, I essentially reverted back to being a pretend candidate, if you will. And uh, so, you know, I, I was pretending to, pretending to seek the Democratic uh, nomination for a few minutes. And then, then I was pretending to seek the Republican uh, nomination. So yeah, I mean, uh, this particular little write-in exercise, uh, it's a lark. It's a little bit of a lark. It's a little bit of a laugh. So should we be taking Vermin Supreme seriously as a politician? Should you take me seriously as a politician? I sincerely doubt that because, you know, that is uh, ultimately uh, not what I am. You know, I'm a highly respected political satirist beloved by millions. I'm not uh, a particularly a policy wonk. There's nobody like Vermin Supreme, but fringe candidates are nothing new. This year, Kanye West is making a run for the White House, sending teams to get on the presidential ballot in states across the country with mixed success. So what does this satirical candidate think of Kanye West, who has his own history of mental illness, but says he's serious about his own late run for office this year? Uh, once again, it's one of the beautiful things uh, about this uh, this great land of ours that anybody can run for president, and uh, most people get nowhere with it because they don't have uh, have the resources. I mean, if let, let me tell you, if I had Kanye's resources, if I had Trump's resources, I would have been the president long ago. Okay, if we lower the voting age to 16, boom, I'm president. I question his motives. I, I'm I. Uh, fear for uh, it being part of his uh, mania, and I'm not sure if that's a, na a naturally good thing to uh, help uh, feed into. Um, I think it's a, a somewhat of a, a dirty trick, of course, also, uh, that seems to be uh, being encouraged by uh, the some of the Republicans um, in order to uh, siphon off votes from uh, Joe Biden, but of course that's uh, just, just not surprising. Vermin Supreme has his own political views. At his core, he's a left anarchist and aligns himself with many libertarian ideals, such as the need for mutual aid and enhanced personal liberties. And in a way, his absurd public stunts are meant to attract young people to these views. It, it's never about uh, been about winning. I mean, winning has uh, never really uh, been uh, a, a measure of success. Every four years, the audience replenishes Every four years, uh, you know, new kids uh, are exposed to it. I I've been hearing from uh, grown-ups, uh, parents with children, and their children are discovering me uh, independently on their own. Kids are anti-authoritarian. You know, kids are, are naturally nonconformists. Uh, kids love humor. I'm just all of these things. Vermin's in it for the long haul. This latest writing campaign is surely not his last stunt for the people who are in on the joke or the people who are not. But remember, he always has your back. There will be sacrifices, human sacrifices. But let me assure you this, that the road to Ponotopia will be paved with the glitter encrusted skulls of our vanquished foes. Together, we will ride our ponies into a zombie-powered future!